for me to tell for five times I dreamt about Jesus Christ. I went to bed, I said my prayers, and I went to sleep. The first time it was when Richard was quite a small child, I had the dream, the first dream. I dreamt that I walked to the end of the pathway from the door, and when I looked to the east, there were Jesus coming down with angels on each side, and I started to call. I says, my recon, Jesus has come, and I'm not prepared to meet and he stopped right abreast to this house. It is as true as I'm talking to you. And when he did so, I thought that he would have stood upon the earth. He didn't. It was a cloud under his feet, between his feet and the ground. But he didn't speak. The angels just surrounded him. And he went in a big white cloud, he disappeared. Once we had acquired the work, we set about discussing with the American Visionary Art Museum uh, the idea of them sending someone down to assist us. But they had assisted us with the book in telling us about other intuitives around the world and what they're doing and how important Miss Lassie was. Because even if people in Cayman didn't think she was important, it's always, people always want, you know, a higher authority and preferably outside of the country to tell them how great, how great they are. After the survey in 2010, I put in a pr proposal for the, the treatment of the paintings in the house. And two of the rooms in the house here are, are, are a decorated where, where she painted the walls and ceilings and it's very interesting because she did it over a period of many years she, she, she painted it out and then she'd go back to it and and add things paint over things so it's it's a very un unusual type of wall painting because you, you have to be aware of all the layers that she put on and and not interfere with them or remove them so it, it, it was quite a challenge in that way. We felt that the works needed to be looked at, they needed to be uh, treated if treatment was necessary and so on. And we, the American Visionary Art Museum sent on loan, um, of course we had to pay a small fee, um, uh, a gentleman who was their curator called Mark Ward. And, um, and Mark came down about three times over several years, and he did an initial uh, condition study of the paintings and so on, and helped me to frame them and all of that. And one thing that is very important is during the, the conservation work inside, there was very little new material added to the paintings. That, that means I didn't repaint sections of it. There was a few bits where the paint had fallen off and I painted in the losses so they're not sort of visible. But when you go in and look at the wall paintings there, the paintings you see will be the actual work that Miss Lassie did. And part of her style, it was a very personal style, and she had a very unusual choice of materials, and the ways of applying it are very unique. And it, it, it's very expressive of her personality. And when you see a reproduction of the pictures, you see the images, but you don't see the quality of the paintwork and only when you see the actual objects do you understand the personality and spirit of the lady who painted it. One of the things I admire about her is that she created according to her own terms. Nobody told her what to paint, how to paint. It was inspired and she was a very she prayed a lot. I don't want to say she was religious or whatever she prayed, but I know that she believed in Christ. <laughs>